So guys, this is it, the first episode of my Bournemouth career mode series, it is here, we're going to be playing with Bournemouth at the Vitality Stadium, I'm so excited for this series, if you guys could smash out 50 likes that would be just insane, follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the series and my channel, subscribe to me so that you do not miss a single upload, and now let's get into this series. So the first thing we will be doing with Bournemouth is having a look at the squad and deciding where do we need improvement, so on the left hand side we have Max Gray and even Pukes so I don't think we need a new left winger we also have Josh King who could come in handy so I don't think we need a new left winger or a left midfielder in striker position we have Wilson and even Ben Figafobe and a ton of other strikers who I'm probably gonna sell like Mare and all that so they'll probably leave the club because I think two strikers is enough because we're only in two competitions on the right hand side we have really good players in Juan Itobe and even Matt Ritchie and even King can play in that position so we're stocked up there but in camp we only have Tomlin so we definitely need a new quality cam we have quite a lot of money so you guys can suggest me new cams to sign let me know in the comment section who we should sign in central midfield we have some decent central midfielders like Arta, Sermon, O'Kane and even Gosling so we don't need a new central midfielder in left back position we have Minks and Daniels no left back needed in right back also we have Francis and Smith so no right back needed but in centre back some of the players are pretty old so we might need to sign a new centre back that's pretty young and you know talented we have Distan and Cook. Distan's pretty old. He's like 37 now. And also our goalkeepers are pretty old. I mean Boruk is or Boruk is 76 rated, but he's like 35 years old and his backup is 30 years old. So we might need to sign a new backup goalkeeper who's pretty young so that once you know Boruk retires he can take his place. Also now it's time to look at our season objectives. So for this season, the board wants us to reach the round of 32 of either the FA Cup or the Capital One Cup, that's I think possible. And in the league, the club wants us to you know, avoid relegation, I think both these objectives are possible. But anyways, now let's move on to something which I'm introducing for the first time in my career mode, and that is press conferences. From now on, in like every two or three episodes, we'll have a press conference. In these press conferences, you guys are going to be asking me questions related to the team, the players, just anything related to this career mode, and I will be answering them. So go down in the comment section and ask me some questions. For this episode, I do have some questions coming from Twitter as well as YouTube comments. So the first one of this episode comes from Ayush, which is what are your targets for the first season? So my basic targets are to, you know, finish in mid-table and even, you know, reach maybe the round of 16 of any of the domestic cups. I know they're difficult, but I think we can actually achieve them because we do have a good squad. Now, another question is from Cameron. Will you make the career mode realistic or one where you sign unrealistic players? So definitely I want to keep the career mode realistic and I want help from you guys for that. So let me know some suggestions of players in the comment section below. I think by signing realistic players, the career mode will be a lot more fun than it would be if we would sign unrealistic players like Tielmans. Now coming to our next question which is from Rosu. Do you have some transfers in mind for Bournemouth? Yes guys I have a couple of transfers in mind. Are you going for older players or younger? Definitely younger players because they'll be the future of the club and I'll probably be doing like three seasons or maybe four or five with Bournemouth so I definitely want a lot of young talent in the club so let me know a few suggestions of the players you guys want me to sign in the comment section below. Also keep in mind these, these are the players I'm probably going to be selling. Players like Ranty won't have a place in the team so I'm putting them on the transfer list. We already have good strikers like Callum Wilson and even you know Benfica Fobe so we don't need him. Also Stanislas can leave the club as well. We already have a lot of left wingers or left midfielders. We also have Joshua King who's like our third choice left winger so we don't really need a new left winger also these are the players I'm going to be training for the start of the season players like Arta players like Cook and even Tyron Mings Callum Wilson and even Afobe all are involved in these training sessions hopefully they will grow quite a bit before the start of the season so that we'll have a strong squad by then also these are a few center backs I want to sign in fact only one of them Liam Moore or even Sergi Gomez or even Eda Alvarez Balanza or Olivier Boschkagli so really good center backs here so in this episode I'll only try to go for a center back in the next episode I'll try to go for a good cam you guys will suggest me that in the comment section below I also want to sign a backup goalkeeper so let me know your suggestions on that in the comment section below again also ask me questions for the next episode's press conference again in the comment section below also now it's time to get into these transfers for a new center back you know my most important transfer target for this window is a center back and i think we do need a good one edda alvarez balanza fits the bill he would be an insane center back to sign i'm finding a player who we can trade off with edda alvarez balanza i know we have a lot of money like 25.6 million but i don't want to spend all the money on one player and make the series unrealistic 
I want to sign players for the future who will do really well with for the team, like players like Ale Alvarez Balanza, maybe players like Liam Moore who would be a very realistic transfer because he's English and he will be amazing for us and he'll be a potential replacement of Distan in the future. That'll be really awesome. And I'm offering around two and a half to three million plus this Ward guy who I'm not, you know, fancying too much and I, I wouldn't mind him leaving. So, you know, two and a half, three million plus that Ward guy, I think that would be a very good deal for any of these centre backs. Let's see which of these clubs do accept the transfer. Offer. It would be amazing if, you know, Leicester City would accept this one for Liam Moore, but I don't think they will because it's, you know, not that much money. But let's see what happens. I'm not putting in an offer yet for Bushkagli because I'm not sure if I really want him because he's 17 years old. He's not that high rated. I know he's got the best of potentials, but we need a player now who could help us, you know, avoid relegation and potentially finish mid table. Also, this is our pre season table group. Not the toughest of groups, but obviously we are Bournemouth, not the biggest of teams. We can get an additional 5 million euros for winning it, but that's going to be difficult. Now, we'll have around 30 million if we do win it, and you probably are wondering, how will I, what will I do with so much money? But the thing is, I'm not going to be spending all the money in this window. I'm going to be saving up a chunk of it for January so that I know the players, so that I know how they play, which place I need to improve the squad. Then I will decide which place to buy in the January transfer window. Also, Celta Vigo have rejected the offer for Sergi Gomez, so we're not going to be signing him. But, you know, Leicester City have accepted the transfer offer for Liam Moore. He would be an insane transfer. 20,000 euros per week for 5 years and a squad rotation play role. I'm doubting that he will accept that squad rotation play role. But let's see what happens if he does accept. I think that would be a bargain. He would be a great signing. But I won't be signing him in this episode. I'll wait guys so that you guys can decide whether we should sign him or another player. So just go down in the comment section below. Let me know which players you want me to sign for this series. It's going to be really awesome guys with your input. And obviously, you know, the suggestions from you guys and all this series is gonna be really awesome and as you can see we do win our first game in preseason which is awesome will definitely improve the morale of the players also our first transfer going away from the club will be ba Bailey Cargill so not one of the players I really wanted to keep anyways 62 rated he can go out on loan hopefully he will improve soon and you know come back and do something for us but anyways time for our second training session of this episode let's see if any of the players increase in their stats yes guys a full base dribbling does increase which is really good to see he got an A in his training, so if he keeps getting good grades in his training, he'll probably get good game time in a few games. Also, as you can see, Leicester City have accepted the transfer offer for Liam Moore. Should we get him, guys? Let me know in the comment section below, or should we go for another centre-back? Also, let me know which central attacking midfielder you guys want me to sign in the comment section below. I also need a new goalkeeper, so you can suggest me that as well. You know, a young one would be pretty awesome. This is how our, you know, preseason group looks right now. We are in second place after one win with three points. We're doing pretty well in that as well. Also, as you can see, we have 25.6 million, so we do have a lot of money. And these are the players that will be leaving the club. Get out of the money and see how much we will have. We'll have quite a lot of money. So money is not the issue. Just let me know which place you want me to sign. And I will get them done. So our first few games in the BPL will be against Aston Villa, Liverpool, West Ham and Leicester City in April. Uh, not in April, in August. So we won't be getting those games started in the next episode. We'll be getting the transfers done. Hope you guys have enjoyed the first episode of this series. And if you guys have, don't forget to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new to this channel. Follow me on Twitter to stay updated. And I will see you guys soon for the next episode of this series.